Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna quickly go over a couple of reasons why I love being an iOS engineer. So some of you guys know this already, but I also have some experience in Android uh, web frontend and backend development. So some of you guys I know are college students uh, studying computer science. And if you are struggling with what type of engineer uh, you want to become, hopefully some of the things that I have to say on uh, this video will be helpful to you. All right, so the very first reason why I think being an iOS engineer is really fun and enjoyable is because of all of the different types of challenges that you'll run into along the way. So for example, the very first app I worked on dealt with image sharing, right? And to be able to do that correctly, you have to learn how to use the image capturing capabilities on your phones and then how to render out these static images coming from the server. And then the second app I worked on was for an e-commerce company. So this means, you know, you have to deal with a lot of mobile payments and a lot of online transactions, which is an entirely different challenge itself. And then lately I've been working on a video app and an audio playing app and then learning how to use the, the video camera on the phone to capture a compressed file so they can send it to the server is a very challenging task. And uh, in terms of audio, being able to play audio uh, on the foreground and on the background is very, very tricky. So if you are someone that likes a lot of different and interesting challenges, you'll find being an iOS engineer is a lot of fun. All right, so the second reason why I think being an iOS engineer is pretty awesome nowadays is because there's a really, really enormous user base that exists on the Apple App Store. And some of you guys are probably too young to remember this, but uh, the early days of the internet, there wasn't a real easy way to distribute your applications. So for a lot of the apps that I wrote in Java or Flash, I couldn't really get it to my friends and family to run that particular app. And nowadays, we have the convenience of the App Store and the Google Play Store. Uh, and within minutes, you can get your project up and running to a million users uh, within a couple of seconds. So that's definitely one huge advantage of being an iOS engineer. So the third thing on my list here is a little bit more technical and has to deal with the Xcode editor and how great of a tool it is uh, in terms of being able to build and publish your applications. So some of you guys that have Android experience know that the Android development environment is kind of difficult to work with. For example, the Android simulator involves launching this thing called AVD Android Virtual Devices. You have to set up your simulators before you can actually run them. And even when you have it set up, the simulator is pretty buggy and sometimes it'll hang and then other times you'll lose connection to that simulator from your editor, making it really hard to debug your applications. And uh, inside of the world of web development, uh, you'll find yourself using frameworks such as React.js or Ember.js. And to be able to use these tools, you have to use a whole other set of tools just to compile your JavaScript code and to make it runnable and viewable on the browser. So the whole idea here is that the Xcode editor is just one thing that you have to open. You just compile your code inside of the Xcode editor. And then later on, when you're ready to publish your app, you just hit the publish button and everything just works. The fourth thing I have on my list is the Swift programming language and how much I kind of enjoy programming with the syntax. Uh, what I find is that other programming languages are either too verbose or they're not statically typed. And uh, I think that Swift achieves sort of the perfect medium, which kind of allows me to get whatever I want inside of a programming language. Uh, for example, inside of Java, you find yourself typing a lot just to implement a very simple feature. And inside of Swift, uh, you get this thing called type inference that makes it very, very simple to just program a simple routine with a couple of lines of code. So very easy there. And the big advantage is that Swift is statically typed. And if you're writing a really, really big application with a lot of code, being statically typed uh, makes your code very, very easy to maintain. Okay, so the next thing I wanna talk about is skill transferability. And one big thing that you get in iOS programming is the ability to transfer your skill set into other disciplines of engineering. For example, if you're programming in iOS and you're talking about data persistence, you're gonna use core data, right? And if you know how to use core data and to set up your model objects, you pretty much know how to set up a backend that uses something like MySQL or a SQL server. Uh, the same ideas apply where you create your model objects, a couple of attributes, and then you create your relationships that associate your objects together. 
All right, so another very important skill that you pick up as an iOS engineer that's transferable is the technique of managing multiple threads, right? So in iOS, you have to render everything on the main UI thread, and then if you need to fetch data, uh, perhaps from a server somewhere, you get it on a background thread. So if you someday end up becoming a backend engineer, you still have to apply these same techniques to manage multiple threads. For example, you have to have a lot of main threads to process requests, and then you have background threads to manage things like user statistics. All right, so the last big advantage of being an iOS engineer is obviously the pay and the job market of being in this field. What you'll find is that uh, the job market right now is pretty healthy for being an iOS engineer, and it's kind of plateaued in the last uh, year or so, but it's still doing very, very well. Being an iOS engineer is still very in demand. And also, if you wanted to become sort of a freelancer or a contractor uh, later down the road, you can do so uh, once you get enough years of experience under your belt. And so pay is something that will constantly increase as well in the future, because a lot of uh, a lot of companies that are serious about being a serious company will always need an iOS application to interact with their user base. All right, so that's going to be it for today. Hope you found the information in today's video helpful. Uh, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you want more information like this. And that's going to be it. I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.